Today, we will talk about the shade of your P and what that implies. You can involve P as a pointer to figure out what's happening further inside your body. First inquiry is P. Indeed, P is sifted blood. Presently, you have these negligible supernatural channels in your kidneys called nephrons. Also, these nephrons are very intelligent. They reuse a great deal of good material, yet they likewise specifically can take out the toxic substances and the terrible stuff and push those out of your body. So today, we will analyze or take apart this issue in light of simply variety alone. On the off chance that you're peeing in, the pee is totally clear. This implies that you're drinking a lot of water. Since you're weakening your pee such a lot of, you're losing this large number of colors. Presently, what's intriguing about drinking a great deal of water? To some way or another get hydrated? Individuals that drink an excess of water, they weaken their sodium, and they really become got dried out. Since the key with hydration is the perfect proportion of electrolytes, with the perfect proportion of water, in the event that your pee is clear, might not have any desire to drink to such an extent. I generally prefer to suggest drinking when you're parched, and particularly in the event that you're not working out or perspiring. Definitely, a lot of water could really be risky. Okay, so the following tone is fundamentally yellow, or on the other hand, golden. What's more, that tone is truly coming from a color in your blood. I won't get into the science of how that occurs. In any case, when you see your pee being yellow, golden, or straw-hued, that implies that it's not unexpected. Okay. The following variety we will discuss in your pee is, assuming the variety is red or pink. Generally, this really intends that there's blood included. Presently, there's few motivations behind why you could have blood in the pee. It very well may be a kidney stone. It may be the case that you're discharging, and that tainted the pee. This could likewise be a disease of some sort or another, or it very well may be something more serious. Yet, any time you have blood, you ought to have it looked at by your PCP. Certain individuals that run a great deal, similar to joggers, for instance, they're doing a ton of beating on their kidneys. At times that can cause draining too. All right, presently. What might be said about assuming it's like orange, or actually practically fluorescent sort yellow that normally implies that you're taking manufactured nutrients and they're going out through the pea, and particularly the B nutrients that will give that splendid fluorescent tone. It can likewise usually intend that they're sure drugs that you're taking that have specific colors in them. On an intriguing event, on the off chance that your pea is orange. It very well may be a going thing on with your gallbladder or your liver, yet entirely, that is not extremely normal. Okay, and blue, green pee, what's happening with that? Indeed, did you simply take something many refer to as methylene blue? That will make your pee blue. Are you taking prescription that is turning it blue? Green, there's a variety of food sources that have fake tones that will make your pee various tones. Sometimes an asparagus can make the pea green. In the event that it's dull brown, odds are you're dried out. You want to add more liquid as it goes hazier into the tans. That is typically a liver issue. Presently, imagine a scenario where your pea is typical variety, yet it's froth like somebody put some cleanser in it. This could mean a few things. It could imply that you're consuming an excess of protein. It could likewise mean you have persistent kidney sickness, and you're generally going to see protein in the pee from that. Furthermore, it might in fact happen on the off chance that you're a diabetic, on the grounds that, as a rule, with diabetes, with all the sugar coming through, it will in general like rust out various pieces of your body, particularly the kidneys. The main source of kidney harm is diabetes. Furthermore, for this reason, we see a high connection between protein in the pee and diabetes, and obviously the frothiness in the pee. In any case, most likely the primary thing you ought to do is simply begin chopping down your protein and check whether that handles it. Shouldn't something be said about assuming that your pee is simply cloudy? It's not straightforward. You simply don't have the perseverance presently by taking high portions. What's more, 
I will let you know the amount to require in a moment. You can recuperate a lot more straightforward, intellectually, and truly. Presently, there's various types of vitamin B3. I would suggest straight niacin. Presently, one of the issues that individuals have with niacin is it makes this flushing reaction on your skin, and individuals become gone crazy about it. So in the event that you generally disapprove of that and you could do without that, you can get a no flush. Niacin. Yet, that's what the fact is. If you need to lessen the withdrawal side effects and the desires also assist you with beating this enslavement and feel improved, you need to take higher measures of niacin. I'm discussing 1.5 to 3G, not milligrams. Grams. Okay, so I would get them in 500 milligram tablets. They're exceptionally economical. I figure you can get a jug for like $5. I would begin taking a more modest sum. Right. And afterward, you sort of develop over a time of a week or two to 1.5 grams to 3 grams of niacin and simply perceive how you feel. There are likewise a facilities around that give individuals IVs for NAD for addictions.